Hello guys, today I'm going to be comparing my new wheel. These are real BBS two piece. And then versus these uh, JNC replica wheels that I got like a couple last year, about a year ago, and I've had them on my car. I got these new, and uh, these come five uh, five bolt patterns, five by 120. I had it re-drilled to four by 100. I'll show you how it looks. It's pretty safe. You just gotta run different studs and um, you have to run different studs and you know, it's instead of the one piece ones, these kind of like like how Japanese cars are, like they stick out and you could like, it sticks out a little farther so you can put different spacers however you want. On this wheel, I'm putting, I have a five millimeter spacer. I'm thinking of doing 10 because that's the maximum the studs can hold and uh, to make the wheel stick out a little bit more. Um, that, with a five millimeter, that's how my old wheels used to sit. But these are a little bit smaller. Those are eight by, uh, they're eight by seventeens, eight point five. These are eight by uh, what's it called seventeens. So those are like half an inch wider. I have the same tire width on them. Those are two uh, two oh five forty. Same thing with these. These are two oh five forties. And um, I'm still running the fake the replicas on the front because it's like kind of tricky, like the wheels hitting the calipers. So I have to either like I'm trying to order a 10 millimeter spacer, but like they're kind of hard for E30s because the hub like kind of sticks out farther than like 10 millimeters or so. So it's like hard to get well, like ones that fit. And uh, if you know anybody that any brand that makes 10 millimeter comment down below because I'm trying to like find a 10 millimeter spacer but I can't and um difference I haven't really like tested them out really but like the difference between these like these are way better material and uh I like these a lot more because like I could always take off the bolts if I really want to like if I want to repaint these which I think I might do in the future so uh, you could always take these off if your barrel gets messed up like one of my barrels was bent all I did was re like take off all the bolts and just put a new barrel on it. These are a lot safer. These, if you get in an accident, will most likely like crack right here. These, these might crack. But um, for the price, I spent about I bought the wheels for like 400 something, and then to re-drill them, it cost me 240 for all four wheels, and then plus tires and everything like that, it ended up costing me about a thousand dollars, maybe a little under. Maybe a little over, still not over. I still need to get the spacers, and those cost uh, around like eighty dollars for like really good ones. So I'm still. I'll let you guys know. Like I'll put a probably an updated video after I get all the wheels on it. Probably test them out, see how they feel. Um, for a while, I had my stocks in the front and these in the back, and it felt okay. Like they're pretty. They're pretty good. I trust these more than those. I'll tell you that much. These look a little like a lot nicer. And uh, the lip is like a little wider than that one. Other than that, I need to polish the lip to make it a little shinier. And um, those wheels are for sale if you know anybody that sells out. And that's it for today's video. It was just an update on uh, what we're doing to the car. I still have the front ones on, as you can see. And then, yeah, stay tuned for another video after I get the front ones on. And then um, probably do a like, canyon run in it and see how they feel compared to the other ones. Because I've taken the other ones on the canyons a lot. And the tires on those are like, they're pretty good. But like I ended up like throwing ass in the canyons and stuff. It's, it was bad. But you know, I got it under control. So um, subscribe, like. If you enjoyed the video if you want to know how and where i got them bolted and all that stuff just comment down below and we'll i'll tell you guys all the information thank you